Tara. We are going to buy lechon. I mean, someone is craving for lechon. I wonder who that is. Yeah, who's that? Oh, not me, it's Funkin. Ah, oh, okay. She's getting to blame a lot of things on Pumpkin at this point. I feel sorry for that poor kid when no. he comes out, when she comes out, no or they come out. No Pumpkin, you're good. I love you. Mama loves you. We're going up? I thought we were going down. No Pumpkin. Mama loves to be on, not you. Me too. Not you, so you're good. <laughs> yeah, they haven't even tried leech on yet, so. And it's going to be a while. We'll see. That one too is 25. I said, we're just eating in there. Gotta love the Philippines. Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of an experience getting here. We assumed we were going to be able to park over there, but they put a farmer's market or something in there in the, in the meantime. So, but Air's Lechon is where we're going for lunch. Where's the stairs? I guess it's inside. Thank you. Yeah, we kind of got taken a little bit off guard. That uh, parking in there we assumed was free parking because of the strip mall that's right there. And we've eaten at the uh, fried chicken place here a few times and never knew that there was a par paid parking for this. Well, he's polite about it, so. Yeah. Horizon 101. Sand burst. Oh, even there, there is a parking too. Yeah, it's hay over there too, so. Most places here in Cebu are a lot like this. The parking is at a huge premium. And that's why cabs are so popular and so common here, and there's way more spaces for scooter and motorcycle parking, which would probably be a better bet. We got a pay here. Huh? We got a pay also when we park over there. Yeah. Okay, let's go come in here. This area is actually really close that's to Fuente floor. Circle, and a couple years ago when I bought the Rusi, oh, I stayed up I at the know. Summit You're Circle. Right, which is on Fuente Circle. And I used to enjoy coming an down here square. and going to the 7-Eleven and getting oh. a soda or a coffee in the evenings and just watching the nightlife that went on over here in this Mango Square area. That this area, there was a bunch of dancing at several bars. But here's Lichon. It's this way. Oh. <laughs> well, they still got a little bit of an area to dancer party but yes, I'll look slowly. oh cute meaty savory juicy crispy rich in flavor del delicacy oh, look at this oh, look at that oh cute that's so cute that's actually kind of cool We can. Oh, very cool. Yeah, there used to be. This is a very, um, there's a lot of people here, always coming. Uh oh. Ayers Lechon is so popular here in Cebu. Have you ever had them? Yep. Are they good? Cool. And I used to work in a bank. 
about her and I were kind of reminiscing about is uh, a couple years ago when I bought the Rusty that we stayed here. You stayed here. Or I stayed here. And would come down here just to hang out and, and grab some soda at the uh, 7-Eleven downstairs. A lot of it changed. A lot. There's always a lot of people here, even on weekdays. Yeah. But none of that used to be here. But that was open and there were a couple bars in here that was always partying. This place was always stinking packed. So now we wait for food. We just had Ayers Leaf John delivered to our table. Yeah, somebody's not even waiting for the video yet. Sorry. <laughs> so what's this? Papaya pico. Dinuguan. Lad pudding. And I, I just got simple lichon and what's the sauce? Pinakurat. Pinakurat. Oh, I'm getting some of my sauce stolen. I'm gonna dig in before there isn't any left. Actually, I've had it before. My father used to love it, but it was really rare to find it. The dog. Uh, he liked a lot of that older stuff. So, how is Ayersley John? Good. What was this stuff again? Pina Cora. Pina Cora. That stuff was actually pretty good. It was definitely on the spicy side, a little bit on the vinegary side. <laughs> but I, 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 yeah, that, that was actually really good. I could see that on a lot of different foods. Especially with Luchon. You could like, the greasy of the pork will like disappear because of the vinegary, you know? I could see that served as a, uh, a topping for uh, Drizzle a little bit of that over pork chops. I could see that. Yeah. I don't know if it'd work well with beef. It might work well with fish. Fish and pork. Mm. Chicken? No? It was an interesting flavor. Yeah, it's got nothing on Mexican spicy. Well done. We are going to do a little bit more exploring and then probably head back. So, bye bye. This, 